I'm Allison from MuchMusic.com, and I'm here with Sarah Bolger from The Moth Diaries, which I'm very excited to see. It's at TIFF. How's the festival going? Oh, it's been so great. I, I was here seven or eight years ago with a movie I did called In America. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're 12 or 13 years old, you don't take in the festival. You sort of take it for granted, like every festival is going to go to TIFF. <laughs> but, no, it's, it's so great. I feel like the people here really love movies. I mean, we just came from Venice, so it... it it's, it's, it's a completely different style of a uh, festival. It's so much fun. I'm so excited to go to the premiere tonight. Do you have your outfit? Because I saw your dress for Venice and it was like, oh my god, it oh. was gorgeous. Thank you. That, that's got to be fun, picking out dresses <laughs> for the red carpet. <laughs> you have no idea how much fun. It was this beautiful Marquesa, and I feel like Venice is kind of very old Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So for, for this particular festival, I've done a bit more, um, a little bit more fun, a little more flirty. Um, it's Gucci, so oh, yeah. yeah. And you've been doing the film fest circuit. Have you been starstruck yet? I. <laughs> do you know what? I mean, I've been walking around with Scott Speedman, and a lot of people are very starstruck by him. But I did see um, Jennifer Garner and Olivia Wilde, who were sort of standing right beside each other in the tip green room. And I was sort of like, what brunette power we have going here. <laughs> it was so cool. You guys could be your own Charlie's Angels. <laughs> I swear to God. It, they were they're very cool people, and I know people who worked with them. I sort of. It, it feels so inappropriate to want to go up to them and, you know, both having movies at the festival and wanting to, like, hug her or get an autograph. I, it seems so foolish, but it's just something you have to do. I feel like for you it's okay. For other people they might get in trouble, but you've got an in. You're another actor. I don't know. I feel like that's the sort of taboo, asking another actor for an autograph. It's so much fun. I love being here. I've been here, what, all of 15 hours now, but I'm excited for tonight. I'm excited for people to see the movie, and I'm more excited to see their reactions. Yes. Did you did you talk to any fans after the Venice Film Fest? Had people seen it there? I did. I stayed through the whole screening. I was so excited to talk to the people after. I sort of there's loads of pictures, stupid pictures of me just like standing beside people in the dress in the screening just after getting up from the credits. And I mean, people really enjoyed it. And that's the energy you want. You want to see the instant reaction. You know, it's almost like theater. You know, it's almost like that instant gratification from doing from doing a theater production. It's that kind of feeling after the premiere. It was. Very cool, and I'm excited for tonight. Well, it's nice because you had, you know, a very big TV history with the Tudors. So with the film, at least you can see people watch the movie. With you can't, you can't do that with television. It's completely true. And TV is such a different medium. It's it's completely it's it's fast pace. It's it's you know three takes and per out kind yeah. of filming. And doing the Tudors for three years was fantastic. And, and Lady Mary, Princess Mary, was a great character to play. But Rebecca is just heart and soul girl. She's she is a hard character to play. She's been through some rough times, and I just can't wait to see what people think of her. And do you want to tell us a little about the movie? Because the books are big. I think the books are about to get really big again, of course, exactly. with the movie. But you play kind of the main character in the film. I do. My, my character is called Rebecca, and actually, um, in the book, she's kind of bipolar. So we'll see through this film this, this sort of ambiguous storytelling. It's through her eyes. It's through her diaries. It's called The Moth's Diaries. It's it's interesting, it's those intense relationships that you have with your girlfriends. Mm -hmm. It's based in a boarding school. I think it's very relatable for young and older people who have been through that time in their lives, who have that person, and seeing those relationships crumble. And we have this supernatural element in our in our movie. I'm not going to say vampire, because it's not vampire, <laughs> but it's it's about Peric and it's... And Is it's, it not? Because it's been said it's a vampire movie? Uh, here's the thing. I feel like when we say vampire movie, I think we're putting it into a genre, and I don't and I don't think it's 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 sitting right on that genre. I think it's it's psychological thriller. It's it's dangerous relationships and it's a dangerous story and it's but when we say vampire, I think that's very much that's very specific and I don't want people going into this movie thinking vampire what you going in thinking supernatural. Yeah. I want them going in thinking slight horrors, intense different. I think we have a great movie on our hands and I'm excited for people to see it. In the book it's really told from your character's point of view. Is Does the movie stay to that kind of or are you seeing it from other perspectives as no, well? No, completely. You see the movie completely from Rebecca's point of view, from my, from my character's point of view, which is great because especially since she was sort of bipolar in the book, we have um, taken that into the movie and it's through her eyes. So you, mm -hmm. she's writing this diary and you hear her, her voiceover over the movie. Which I tried to make a completely different voice to the to the voice you hear in the in the film. Her regular, just this a more. Is the voiceover Irish? 
No. <laughs> no, all American. All American girl in this movie. Do you hear a double Not, accent? I don't <laughs> hear you at all. Like, like, we're like turkey tree times. And <laughs> <laughs> I've seen interviews with you, so I thought, oh, you know, you've got this beautiful accent, but beautiful American accent, too, but I don't hear it at all. I think I, I've kind of, I've been, it's it's subtle, and I I have blended a bit with a bit of everything. Um, I'll go into more of a Dublin man accent, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's sort of, I guess it's a bit of everything at this point. Because you mostly work in the States now and in Canada, so... It's true. I've been, I just filmed a movie with Claire Danes and James Morrison in New Mexico. Wow. It's all just cool as I am. So that was also an American girl, and I did a, um, a Kurtzman Orsi uh, Spielberg pilot in Pittsburgh. So that, again, an American, all-American girl, so I think... American is, is has been great to me. American characters, I'm pale complexion, brunette. It sort of it doesn't look like I've come from anywhere. So it's it's great to be able to play all these different cultures and and, um, and um, accents. Yeah. And you shot uh, the Mob Diaries in Montreal, correct? I did. What was the what was the filming like? You had a great cast. Talk about Scott Speedman, who's not too bad to look at every day. Not at all. He's beautiful. Some of the scenes I'm not telling you what scenes, but some of the scenes that we did together. We're just so much fun. He's so he's so beautiful to look at, and he's just a nice guy too. We had a very nice set. It's 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 hard to understand when you think of like six girls between the age of, of 19 and, and 26. So it's kind of it's hard to say that it's going to be a nice film set. It really was. It was just pleasant. And Mary Harron, our wonderful director, made it very easy to be a part of, mm -hmm. and I think that was the most important. But yes, Scott is wonderful, and he's a Canadian. Yeah. He's a Canadian guy. And um, I loved working. I love working here. I love being here. It's sort of, it's one of the most efficient film sets I've ever been on as a Canadian film set. Good. Well, it's always good to hear. And did you have to learn how to play the piano for the film? I read that somewhere, <laughs> which seems terrifying. Oh Lord, I did, and I. Did. <laughs> I did so. They just have keyboards you can program for these kind of oh, things. Oh no, it was so awful. So myself and Lily Cole had to learn these separate musical pieces, and. She had to play hers absolutely flawlessly, and what I had to do was learn a piece perfectly, and then learn a piece that I was that was to be flawed, that looked like I was forgetting and it was frustrated by me not being able to play properly. And they cut the piece that I did flawlessly because it was not flawless. I <laughs> only put in the one that I played badly. That's not, that's fine. I'm not a pianist. I, I you know there I was able to play a flawed piano player, and that was fine. I think you got the better end of the deal in that casting. I think so, I really do. Lily, it's such a hard role. It's a hard role to play, and it was so funny, because you, you see her, and she's, you know, she's this model with curly golden hair, and then she comes up with a black, stoic look. It's, it's so interesting. It was, it was great casting, I feel. Well, we can't wait to see you in the Moth Diaries, and to see you in these other projects coming up. Wonderful to talk to you. Pleasure.